Hey again. If you watched my preview video yesterday, you'll know that I focused on Week View and what you can come to expect from Week View in the Events Calendar and Events Calendar Pro 3.0. Today I'm shifting gears a little bit over to Map View, which is what you're looking at on my screen right now. First thing you're going to see when you come to this view is that the map dominates the page. It spreads the page template nicely, it fits whatever page template you've selected, and you'll notice that it's zoomed in, in my case, to just show Seattle and the San Francisco Bay Area. The reason it's doing this by default is that the plugin knows that all my events, all the events scheduled I have on this site, are all taking place in either the Seattle region or the San Francisco region. There is no reason for it to show me the entire United States or the entire world because I don't have events in any other location beyond the West Coast here. That said, if I had events in Seattle and New York or Seattle and Amsterdam, the map would be zoomed out even further to be able to pick up both those geographic locations. Bottom line is that it'll know one way or another, so however you set things and however things are configured, the map will be able to respond to that when viewers access it on the front end of the site. Scrolling down a little bit, we have the event bar here, allow you to change the date, search by a search term, or search near a location, we'll check that out in a minute. And then we have the view picker over here, which allows us to switch from map view to any of the others that are enabled. Down below, we just have a regular old loop of upcoming events, starting with those that are taking place today, and going in chronological order from there. Let's check out how the Tribe event bar integrates here with the map itself, starting with date. Right now it's showing me all events from today forward. Let's say I want to see all events from next Monday, the 8th forward. I'm going to hit it and it's going to automatically refresh because I have the live Ajax filtering enabled as an overall setting for the plugin. If I didn't have that enabled, I'd have to hit this find events button. And you're going to notice when you look at the map, it did a couple things. One is it zoomed in dramatically. It doesn't show me the Seattle events anymore. And the reason is because from the 8th forward, I don't have any events scheduled in Seattle. The ones that were showing a moment ago must have been taking place between the 2nd and the 8th. And by the time I'm looking at this, by the time the 8th arrives, those will be passed. The map knows that right now all I care about are events from the 8th forward, and it's showing me those. They just happen to all be in the Bay Area. Let's jump back, get so we are seeing events from today forward. It'll bump us back up to have both Seattle and San Francisco as expected. And now let's do a search term. Let's say I want to search for a clinic. When I run that search, it once again has zoomed in. Now it's zoomed in even further, not just to the San Francisco Bay Area, but to a small town within the San Francisco Bay Area. The reason it's doing that is because this clinic only takes place one location. That's the Corte Madera Recreation Center in Corte Madera, California. It has no reason for me to see San Francisco or the rest of the Bay Area because there aren't any events taking place there. I'm going to wipe this search term away, go back so that I am once again seeing my Seattle and San Francisco, basically bringing in all my events to view from again. And now we're going to try a given location. Let's say I want to try someplace that is totally unrelated to San Francisco or Seattle, Reno. Well, it gives me a couple options. Since there are a few Renos in the United States, I have to pick which one I want to go with. I wanted Reno, Nevada, so I'm going to click that option. And naturally, because I have no events taking place in or around Reno, Nevada, the map doesn't show me anything. Once I wipe that away, I should once again have my full map with all my events plotted in, as you see right here. So that's basically the way map view is going to operate. You're going to have the ability to target where your events come. You're going to have the ability to filter it as users see fit. And users will always, when map view is enabled, have this distance option available. Even if you disable it for other views, it is never going to go away from map view because we don't want people to not have the option to filter close to their geographic location. Only other point I want to note here is this setting, show only the first upcoming instance of recurring events. This appears in many of the views, but I want to highlight it here in map view because it's the first time it's come up in one of these screencasts. What this does is it allows you to, as it would suggest by the name, show only the first upcoming instance of an event. Let's say you have a recurrence pattern that takes place every single day for the next week, and you don't necessarily want that to bog down your overall events list. Well, check this box. It'll show the first one so people know that this series is coming, and if they click into it, they can see the broader recurrence pattern. But that broad recurrence pattern is not going to show here in the overall loop. It doesn't really pertain to map view so much as it does to the new plugin, but I wanted to cover it nonetheless. Otherwise, the rest of this was centric on map view, what you can come to expect from it, and I hope it answered some of the questions and cleared up some of the things we've been having emailed and we've been getting on Twitter. If you do have additional questions, don't hesitate to let us know. PRO at TRI.BE is the email address, or you can always reach out to us on Twitter. I'll be back with another one of these focused on photo view later in the week. Thanks.